Hey guys, what is going on? It's your boy Cortex back with another video. So today I'll be talking about how I get set up in South Africa. So I live in Cape Town in South Africa and basically I get set up as you can see by the time. Oh wait, <laughs> you can't tell the time from this video but anyway. I get set up in Cape Town and I'll be showing you how it works and what I use. Thanks guys and I hope you enjoy this video. One last thing I forgot to mention guys is that I will be um, showing tips and tricks on how to make it run smoother and to make the internet better so you get less input delay with this. Okay, now please enjoy. What you want to do is you want to type in... Oh, wait, let me just first show you. If you go on GeForce Now on the actual website and you just... Um, you want to go and you know do your stuff you want to download geforce now um you're gonna have to do this method because you can't download it normally but this is gonna happen you're gonna say um join today and it says geforce now is not uh supported in your region so what i did was i learned this from another youtuber what you do is use browsec it is basically like a vpn for your browser i already have it um installed as an, an extension and everything but it will appear in the top right corner right over here so what you want to do you want to click on it you want to open it and what you want to do is you want to turn this on and you want to be in United States because that is the closest to South Africa. Well, yeah, well, that's what I use for my internet. And you just let it load and you say join today. Once you say join today, it will give you two options you can get the founders or the free. So, what you want to do is you want to join the free. I think you set up an account or whatever. And one tip is while this is downloading you can turn off this you can turn it off and then after like it will probably cancel or something and then you can re-download it so you're on your normal internet speed so you don't have to go back into the site you just go into your downloads and say download again or resume and that is how you get geforce now you just install it you set up your account i for the setup i don't know if you have to have your vpn on i haven't seen it in a while available in south africa at the moment because we do not have any sa servers or anything so i get um you get input delay with this method of using of getting zero ping but um it still works out sometimes I mean I have a way to lower it so as you can see I'm on GeForce now now if I start it up sorry my internet is kind of slow I mean everyone's is in South Africa right now for some gay reason if I start it up and I just wait for it <sighs> and just loads and it connects to whatever server normally this will be auto but I changed mine to EUS because that's the closest so if this happens well this has been happen happening to me because I keep lagging lately because of the internet so if you say continue anyway it says connecting and then it says this is not available in your region so if that happens guys what what I use is I use a little thing called Winscribe which is a VPN it's free you can get it on wherever <laughs> but I use this and then I go down to United Kingdom and I go either this because this is the first one that you get or any of these servers and it depends on what bars or connection you get you see like this is 150 
image this is 152 so you're gonna wanna choose this so when this is starting up you're just gonna you're gonna wait for it to load so that yeah <laughs> so after it's done starting up now if you try and launch um, Fortnite on GeForce now and you just wait for it to load It'll say connecting and now it's a we'll be looking for available rig so what GeForce now does this isn't the premium if you have the premium this wouldn't happen but um it's basically oh you can you can turn your VBN now off that's normally what I do to just save the VBN like megs or gigs or whatever it's called um, I don't know if you can use any other VPN with this, I've never tried it, I'll try it maybe in the next video, but anyway, if you waiting and it says less than a minute or something, or more than 6 minutes, or 7 or 8, that means you're waiting in a line because it's not premium, so once you do get in and you're loading, it's gonna take you like this, your screen's gonna be blank, for a little while because it's loading in and then after that you're gonna get like this wait hold on is it recording this you need this sorry I'm lagging right now so it looks a bit weird in the background and it's kind of glitchy because the internet is really bad for some stupid reason but anyway, um, this is what happens when uh, when you lag. I can say that so long. So when you lag, what happens is the quality, as you can see in the background, it uh, just becomes utter garbage. This can also happen, but this is only when you lag really hard. And um, normally, what happens is you get ticks in your game. So if you move your mouse, it will like stop your character will stop moving and then it will flick over again so it literally stops so as you can see I'm getting into Fortnite now I mean GeForce now is pretty it's it's, it's nice to use because you get uh, really good um, FPS so on it can go up to 240, 144, you can go up to 60 you see like look at the quality comes look at the quality becomes when you lag And then, yeah, I'm lagging pretty bad right now. I don't know why. So, guys, as you can see right now, I'm lagging really badly. But, um, this only happens when you lag. Uh, when I was recording with Thingy, I couldn't, um, I couldn't, what's I couldn't record because I was lagging off of Streamlabs as well. <coughs> But as you can see here, I get 1 ms on Europe and all the other pings are pretty low this is normally what I used to play on not Middle East, but I used to play on this ms in South Africa I mean, I still am in South Africa, but I used to play on this ms with my internet and now, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on Netbug this Netbug Whatever that thing is called, and I'm not going to create it and just show you how it works. So guys, I did get into a creative, and as you can see in the top left, I have zero ping. So, this, this is, I mean, basically, you get zero ping from it, but you do get an input delay in your mouse and so on, so movements are delayed. But I'm going to do a method on how to to lower the input delay by a bit so that it's not as bad as it was so guys let's get um, into that part of the tutorial and I'll see you guys in a bit so guys um, uh, you just wanna say that these changes are they help so much they help me so much these they just GeForce now is so much better so what you want to do is you want to left click and you want to go to GeForce now properties 
and then you want to go to you must you should turn a read only off so you just want to do that so long and then what you want to do is you want to open file location and once you get in here you want to go all the way down to a file called geforce now streamer.json and you want to left click and you want to open this with notepad not notepad plus plus just notepad and as you can see here's some settings that you should change so guys these settings are not changed for me right now for some reason but what I suggest is you see this first setting set DX11 to DX12 keep this on true VSync it depends if you want it because it was a I think every time it updates these settings change and you should change it back but normally I have VSync as false this you want to put as true this you would also want to put as true you also want to keep this as true and then you don't need to change anything else in the files what you want to do is you want to put a uh, file you want to go and save and you want to exit out if it doesn't save then that means you must turn read only off but after you do that you can turn read only on press apply and press ok one i have something to say uh, when you made those changes, you should um, you, you made those changes in the files. You must go into settings, and then this this little thing called direct mouse input. You should turn that on. I already have it on because I changed the settings, and these are my custom settings. I would keep it at this because it makes it so much better. Uh, you can change the bitrate depending on your internet like I can change mine all the way up to 50 But right now it's really bad. So I'm gonna keep it at 12 and What I do is Keep the resolution on 1920 by 1080 you can't change the FPS But you might be lucky and get like over 200 or something and uh, The best servers that I say for South Africa is probably EU West because that's what gives me the least input delay when I move my mouse and it's just so much better for me honestly but um, that's all the settings guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed I hope this helped you quite a bit and I'll see you guys next time peace